In this problem, we're looking for a change in volume as the result of a thermal expansion. So we'll use the formula we've got for this. And the formula says that the change in volume is equal to the initial volume times the volume expansion coefficient times the change in temperature, which we're given. The first problem with this is that we don't know the volume of the sphere. We are given the initial radius, however, so we can replace V with the formula for the volume in terms of the radius. The formula for the volume of a sphere, of course, is 4 pi over 3 times r cubed, where r is the radius, 10 centimeters that were given by the problem. The second problem with this is that we don't know the volume expansion coefficient. We do, however, know that the volume expansion coefficient is always 3 times the linear expansion coefficient, which is something we can look up in the case of aluminum. So I've substituted 3 alpha in for beta, where alpha is the linear expansion coefficient. And also worth noting that the linear expansion coefficient of aluminum is 23 times 10 to the negative 6th inverse degrees Celsius. And that's all we need to take into account. Now you can just plug this formula into your calculator using 10 centimeters for r, uh, this, this value right here for alpha, and the change in temperature is just, well it was heated from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So that's a 100 degrees Celsius change. So you can just use that for delta T. And plugging this into your calculator, you should get a change in volume of about 29 cubic centimeters. And that's the answer. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, or uh, I have a link to my Discord server in the description where you can ask me questions more directly or if you have future requests. That's all for today. Have a nice day.